Nice. All right. So before we start talking about Nova, I would like to invite you to discuss and like think about like ideal mobile application in the Polkadot like, system. So what features it should have, how it should look like, and how it should feel. And let's start with like the first and the general one. So users expect that all the assets, all the networks are supported so that you can do whatever you want in the ecosystem, like you cover completely, right? The next one, <laughs> the next one of course is the security, right? So you should have a wallet which is really secure, which is convenient and which is reliable to be used. And ideally it should be an open source, so everybody can check what, how it works like and how it works like. Third one, the app should be really fast, responsive and it has amazing views and UI, so it's pleasant to be used. The next one is the features. So in addition to assets management, like the tokens, NFTs, you should be able to do more. You should have utility in your wallet, right? So you should be able to stay to participate in governance in all the activities that all these unique parachains are providing to you. Next, community. Community play a crucial role for the wallet or for anything basically, right? So you would want your community to be really friendly, supportive, and you would want your app to receive like, frequent updates to be really like community friendly. Now, due to the last couple of years, the ecosystem is pretty much evolved. We can see the great apps like a Talisman, right, which supports yeah. <laughs> which supports lots of uh, these features. And overall, the state of the ecosystem grown like rapidly. And here today, I would like to announce that Nova as mobile application has all of these features. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is how our application looks like. We are really proud of it. Uh, and overall, we spent two years of developing native mobile applications for the Polkadot. Not only the application as a product, but also for the whole development community in terms of the SDKs and all the toolkits. So everything from the mobile perspective is covered uh, in the ecosystem. Now let's talk about Nova. So with Nova you have support of the all power chains of all real chains like Polkadot, Kusama, and also of the ecosystem networks like Alif Zero, Polkadex, and all other networks. You can manage all the assets, so all the tokens inside of like Moon, River, Karura, and all these networks which have multi-asset support inside of it. All this is accessible to you, right? The cross-chain transfers. Cross-chain transfers actually are under Google Play and App Store review, but we will release it this week. Yeah, but yeah, so this would be available. So now you will move, uh, you would be able to move the assets from the cross chains. Compatibility. It's very crucial to live in the harmony with the ecosystem. And from the wallet perspective, you can manage your funds like app agnostic. So you can have your account basically in any application like Polkadot.js, Talisman. And yeah, you can use them simultaneously in the app and you can freely import and export them. So Nova supports all the import-export types, all the cryptography types uh, in the Polkadot ecosystem. Now, let's dive into the features themselves. And let's start with the crowd loans. Crowd loans are really unique feature in the Polkadot ecosystem because you as a user are invited to participate in the shaping of the ecosystem. So you, <laughs> you're basically able to select all these networks which will join the ecosystem and participate in it. From the Nova uh, side, you have access to all the crowds on Polkot and Kusama. So as soon as they appear on the blockchain, you will see them in a Nova wallet. Now, you also see your contribution history, and that's really uh, important stuff because contributions made for a um, locking period of one or two years, right? And it's really important to yeah, not forget stuff and see the, all the details that when you contributed, how much you contributed. So yeah, that's available in Nova. Now, as soon as the parachain launches, it's usually a common practice that they distribute the rewards according to your contribution size. 
and in Nova we tending to add the networks as soon as possible. So as soon as they are added uh, to the ecosystem and running producing the blocks, you will see them in Nova and eventually you will also see the, your rewards as soon as the parachain will distribute them. Staking. Staking is an amazing feature and with Nova you can stake on the relay chains like Polkadot Kusama, on the power chains like Moonbeam Moonriver and also on the solo chains like Alif Zero and the Polkadot solo chain. Uh, with of course Bifrost and Turing coming soon. Now, why it's crucial to stake on the on-chain? Yes, of course your keys, your tokens, right? But the issue with on-chain staking is the UX. Right, especially if we're talking about the relay chain staking. It's really not trivial to select the validators, especially for the people who just coming to the blockchain area, right? So our goal uh, roughly two years ago was to solve this issue. And at the same time, we would like to be in the crypto friendly space, so we would like to not limit our users with some predefined validators and whatsoever. So we solved it by providing two options. You can stake in one click with recommended validators, which are basically unbiased collection of validators. So best of the best are recommended to you to stake with. Or if you're advanced enough to select it by themselves, then you can do it. The second feature, the second feature is basically to analyze your staking. So you can get access to all your total rewards, your staking rewards history, so that you can understand your earnings uh, from the staking. And the third one I mentioned before, but just to kind of uh, provide more details, you have access to all these advanced features for the staking. And if you're talking about the Polkadot staking, you're able to set up the controller accounts, you're able to see the like pending rewards or future rewards, and of course change your reward destination. So, Using this approach, we are able to combine the experience for both like new users who are just coming to the ecosystem and at the same time to provide advanced users, like validators even, to use the Nova and maximize their user experience. The apps. Just recently we made kind of revolutionary thing, but Nova has a DIA browser built into the mobile application which supports Polkadot.js and MetaMask protocols. That combination allows you to connect to any of the DApp in the ecosystem and utilize your keys from the mobile wallet in any of this application, like speaking of SubSocial, Moonbeam, even UVM app. So all of them are supported. And if you think about it, that's a really important because that kind of allows us as, the, as the developers to win some time because we are not limiting users they're able to connect to any of the apps available in the ecosystem, right? And utilize their user interfaces and so on. And at the same time, by having support of this orange fox, we are able to communicate beyond the ecosystem. So for example, to bridge the token from other ecosystems to the Polkadot using these D apps. On top of that, yeah, uh, we support the internal catalog of all these DApps right in Nova, so you have access to all of them in the convenient list. But if you don't find your favorite DApp, let us know. And you can also enter the URL and browse the whole, uh, yeah, basically web free with a phishing protection. So we have a daily updated list of like phishing sites and we are not allowing you to visit them. And of course, <laughs> Sorry. And of course, you can manage your favorite DApps. So that catalog that you have or whenever you browse the web using the DApp browser, you can mark uh, them as a favorite DApp so that you kind of customize experience for yourself. Now, we just talk about what we have today in Nova and what's available today. Now, let's have a glance for what's coming next. So we just received a second treasury grant from the Kusama, which will be allowing us to focus on cold wallets integration because we would like to extend security in no wallet by integrating the party signer and the ledger. In addition to this, <laughs> can we go back? Yeah, in addition to this, we will also try to revolutionize the governance, kind of what we did with the staking but we are going to reinvent the UX for the governance features. 
And by the end of the year, you can expect that we will add more networks as soon as they launched, more tokens, more staking options, and more features that requested by the community. Yeah, that was what's coming next. And now I would like to invite everyone from you to help us building and to join in this journey. All right, how you can do it? Well, the first of all, we are really listening carefully to our community. So you can submit your feature idea or you can vote uh, for the features on our Kenny. You can get all the links that kind of presented here from scanning this QR code. But the idea is that we are fetching the all ideas, the, f uh, the all community requests from our social media, and then we are including them in Kusama Treasury proposals so that consulars can uh, give us approval for building what community wants. The second one, if you're a builder in the ecosystem, you can go really crazy. So you can go to the NoWord GitHub, submit your network, and if that's approved and merged, in less than five minutes, your network will be available in all no wallet uh, users. But yeah, if you don't want to submit the pull request, you can just contact us and we will work on adding your network, talking the app to the node. And the third one is kind of amazing because by this journey, uh, which we had building the native mobile applications for Polkadot, we also build lots of stuff in the open source, from our native SDKs for iOS and Android, to the design assets so that you can just go to our Figma and select all these icons for the project so that you can make your app prettier, right? And also what would be very useful to others is that we maintain subquery APIs for the transaction history. So you can plug your application to the subquery API that we developed or you can run it by your own and that will make your uh, UX of the application more mature because you have this transaction history, staking rewards, and all this data available. So yeah, feel free to scan the QR code, see all these links available, and that would be it from my side. Thank you. So I know you wanted to fight me about the timing, but we actually still have time for questions. Whoa. Um, so we have a packed house. If you have a question, just raise your hand. Really? Thank you, sir. Wait for the microphone. It's coming to you. No, I'm loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. Uh, my question is, is Nova Wallet um, or is, it, uh, is the system safe? <laughs> yes, next question. <laughs> but, yeah, so depends on how deeply you want me to answer this, but generally we use all the best practices for the security on mobile sites, so we store uh, everything relating to the key pairs in the dedicated security storage on the operation system on the mobile, so iOS and Android have like specific sec secret storages for it, right? Before storing them, we also encrypt them, right, for additional security. So we're using that. In terms of the encryption libraries, it's very common approach to use what people already developed and tested. So we use the common libraries for any encryption uh, and all that stuff. Uh, in addition, we also wrote like multiple automation tests for the encryption part, so that just to make sure that every import export case is covered and supported. And <laughs> beyond all that, we are now working on the cold wallets integration, right? So even if you, that's not um, enough for you, let's say, right? You would be able to connect the cold wallet, like a ledger, part designer. That, that should maximize your security approach because, uh, yeah, even if you did a good job still your uh, key pair is in hot wallet and somebody concerns uh, about the security in this approach, right? For that people, we developing the support of the cold wallet, uh, such as part designer and the ledger, so we can yeah, utilize the best and amazing interface of Nova and also security of cold wallets. One, two, one, two. Yeah, uh, so I just have a question with regards to staking. We all know it's quite complicated to stake on the Polkadot web wallet, and there are multiple steps that you have to go through. Is there a plan to simplify staking on Nova wallet 
so that you can automatically select a validator on behalf of the staker. They don't have to worry about picking and choosing which one. Yeah, so whenever you stake in Nova, right, you have two options. You can stake with recommended validators. Those, yeah, debatable, but those are like the best at the moment of time when you see them, right? In terms of like a profit, profitability, reliability, and all this stuff. And the second option that you can select them manually, so we have access to all these available active and waiting validators, or better say, elected, not elected validators, right? And you can choose in the convenient interface, like with filtering, sorting. Uh, so yeah, you can select validators by yourself. Cool, and we have the last question there. Will I be able to use Nova Wallet with Talisman at some point, perhaps to uh, use Nova Wallet as almost like multi-factor authentication for my transactions? Sorry, what was the question? Can I use Nova Wallet to do multi-factor authentication for my transactions in Talisman? So I could perform a transaction in Talisman and then confirm it in Nova? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Thank you, anonymous sir. So, <laughs> <laughs> completely stranger. Uh, but yeah, we're considering to collaborate with multiple teams, including Talisman, on working s on some amazing features in terms of like both um, usability and security, right? So we can imagine to have something like Nova and Talisman. You have the keys in both, right? But for the security reasons, you would like to have this two-factor authentication experience. So in order to transfer funds from your account to another, you will need to confirm it in both Nova and Talisman, right? So that would be one of the cool ideas. Perfect. Woo! Thank you so much. All right, that was a great pitch. Can't wait to use the Nova wallet myself. All right, next on our program is Gregory Hill from Interlay, who will take us through a workshop on building off-chain software with, with sub-XT. There he is. Yeah, there should be. 